We are following breaking news out of South Haven tonight, and we now know the name of a young gunman who shot two people and then shot himself on South Haven's South Pier. We are also finding out this shooter has a very dark past that has gotten him in trouble before. South Haven police say 19-year-old Aiden Ingalls is the man behind that shooting spree that had people running for their lives today. That name may be familiar to you. In 2018, when he was 15 years old, Ingalls plotted and planned to shoot up Pawpaw High School. We continue our live team coverage now. News Channel 3's Trisha McCauley joining us in studio. Trisha has been in South Haven all day to explain now what happened during Ingalls 2018 trial that allowed him, Trisha, to be out and on the pier today in the first place. She'll have that in just a minute, but first we are going to go to South Haven. Our Maria Serrano has been at the beach all day along with Trisha McCauley. Maria joins us with the latest. A portion of South Beach is still closed. Just hours ago, though, along this very busy pier, police say 19-year-old Aiden Engel shot two people at random before turning his weapon on himself. Gunfire. We heard pop, 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 pop. Cuts the silence of a sunny afternoon in South Haven. What I heard when they were running is somebody is shooting, somebody is shooting. People running for their lives as an active shooter stalks the South Beach Pier. Because he just he was, walked calmly. He just didn't even just walked and was like, hey, I'm just pointing and shooting and people are running, screaming. The shooter takes aim at a man and woman standing all the way at the end. South Haven Police Chief Natalie Thompson says the man hit died at the pier. The woman suffering serious injuries now in critical condition at a Kalamazoo hospital. Witnesses say the gunman's shooting spree ended moments later when he took his own life. We cleared out his, uh, his magazine before and then um, I watched him point it towards his head and then um, he fell to the ground after that. Right now we don't know if there was a motive. We are suspecting that this was random. No motive and police say right now there's no known connection to the gunman now identified as 19 year old Aiden Ingalls and his victims. The terrifying incident lasting less than four minutes happening in front of hundreds of people captured on video by our partners at Horizon Broadband. All of a sudden a bunch of people came running with their kids, just running, running, freaking out, crying. It was really, it was kind of traumatizing, especially for the parents with those little kids. Chief Thompson says random acts of violence like this are rare. She says the top priority right now is to identify both victims. If you know any information on what happened here earlier, you're urged to contact the South Haven Police Department. And that shooter on the South Haven Pier today is the same teen charged with plotting a mass shooting at Pawpaw High School in 2018. And News Channel 3's Trisha McCauley is live in studio to tell us when the young gunman was released from a juvenile detention center. Trisha. Yeah, South Haven police say the shooter is 19-year-old Aiden Ingalls. He was recently released from the juvenile detention center for plotting to shoot up Pawpaw High School back in 2018. I didn't want to kill myself at home because then you'd be sad. But if I committed some horrific acts, then you'd hate me first and you wouldn't feel as bad. In March 2018, Aiden Ingalls' mother found a bag packed with guns, explosives and ammunition and a plan to kill students at Pawpaw High School. She turned her son into the Van Buren County Sheriff's Office. He was 15. I said what was going to happen and he said people were going to die. And I said, why did you want to do this? And he wouldn't tell me. Today on the South Pier in South Haven, police say Ingalls shot two people, killing one man and critically injuring a woman. From what I can tell right now, this is looking like it was random. So it's very unusual, especially for our area. Um, but, but overall, these types of incidents are, they're very disturbing. Ingalls shot the couple on the pier before he shot and killed himself. In 2018, a Van Buren County judge denied prosecuting Ingalls as an adult. He was facing 10 felony weapons and explosives charges. He could have faced up to 28 years in prison. Three years ago, the judge ordered a stay under supervision of the juvenile justice system until he turned 19. Today, the 19-year-old took his life, the life of an apparent stranger, and tonight a woman's life hangs in the balance following the shooting spree. 
One photo showed the shooter on the pier today with a gun in each hand. Ingle's mother told News Channel 3 back in 2018 that she knew her son needed help. She told us less than three weeks ago he was out of juvie and doing well. We're continuing to learn more tonight as a woman is continuing to fight for her life one day after a deadly shooting at a pier in South Haven. Video from our partners at Horizon Broadband shows people, as you can see here, running out of the water and away from the beach during that shooting that left the shooter, Aiden Ingalls, and one other man dead. Family members, you know, will be praying for them. Hopefully they'll be able to get some type of closure. Now a live look over South Beach tonight where the South Haven community is coming together in the wake of this tragedy. News Channel 3's Maria Serrano spent all afternoon at the beach to get a sense of how the town is feeling more than 24 hours after the incident. This image shows a 19 year old shooter Aiden Ingalls with a gun on each hand. Something that probably may, might have been avoided. At the end of the pier is where this all happened. Now you can see flowers by the base of the lighthouse. And while the pier is now open to the public, it was closed off as investigators searched for evidence. I was caught off guard. I was at work when it happened. Lewis Alcalter, a resident of South Haven who was fishing at the pier today, says he's lived in South Haven for 15 years and has never never seen anything like it. Knowing that it was hit so close to home, you know, it makes you realize, okay, it's type of violent crimes at the doorstep. Very senseless and disheartening. Sisters Dana and Pam, who were also at the pier, say despite the tragedy, coming here is still a fond childhood recollection. Well, it didn't stop us from visiting a, you know, a hometown memory, but it just saddens. Hundreds at the South Beach Pier enjoying the day, chit-chatting and splashing in the water. In the latest update from South Haven Police Chief Natalie Thompson, she says this is not the norm for a safe and beautiful community. We don't want this to become normal in South Haven. Because it isn't, I would just hope it doesn't dissuade people from coming to South Haven. It's still going to be a nice family memory, you think? Oh, yes, definitely. It's still a peaceful place. Um, we'll, we'll get together. We'll get through it. In South Haven, Maria Serrano, News Channel 3. Police did identify the gunman as 19-year-old Aiden Ingalls. Ingalls was just released from a juvenile detention center in June. Police tell us he's the same teen who was responsible for plotting a shooting at Pawpaw High School in 2018. To learn more about that investigation and hear what his mother told News Channel 3 shortly after turning him into police, click on this story on our website, wwmt.com.